Hello and welcome to another UMake tutorial. My name is Nico and in this tutorial I am going to show you how to create a set of headphones using the extrude along path functions and the revolve tools. So in another tutorial we showed you how you could create a set of headphones using just an arc and a circle and then using the extrude function and lofted surfaces to create those. In this one we're doing a little bit more advanced technique but we're using the same arc and the same circle to do that. So let's get started, let's jump right in. All right, so we have this arc here, and the first thing we wanna do is create the headband in this case. So to do that, this is going to be a little bit different uh, process than what you may be used to. We are gonna to need to create a closed shape that we can use to extrude along this arc. Again, in this tutorial, we're only uh, starting with half of the set of headphones, and then we will use the mirror function at the end to create the full set. So I'm gonna to go to the top view and I have my circle and I have my arc here. And what I need to do is create a closed shape. So I'm just gonna draw a curve like this and then I need to add a bunch of control points to it. So about five control points or so inside. There we go. And what I'm gonna do is Kind of wrap this around actually this way. I want to get these these endpoints as close to one another as possible. All right, and I'm going to make kind of a shape that looks almost like, in a way, an airplane wing or kind of a, a weird, weird oval. But this profile, this profile curve, is essentially going to be what defines the volume of the headband. So. Just moving these points around until I get a shape that I'm relatively happy with. All right, now I have these two points really close to one another. If I tap done right now, and I come over to the quick menu down below, and I tap on this third uh, icon, which is snap to endpoint, snap to curve, I'm going to tap that. If I go back and edit this curve, you'll see that if I take this endpoint, it'll snap to the other endpoint and it will be merged. So now this is a closed shape. All right. Now this might be a little bit big considering the headphones, so I might want to scale it down just a tad bit. It's fine. And now I'm going to move this curve up to the base of the arc. And I'll just move it over a little bit. There we go. Now what I can do with this is I can extrude it along the arc. So I'm gonna select the arc I'm going to go to extrude, turn off the wireframe, go to a long path, and then if I just drag this handle up, that shape will extrude along the path. We can go around and see if that's about what I want. That looks good. Maybe a little small. I might have scaled it down too much. That's okay. I can simply take the profile curve that I use to extrude along the path and I can scale it up a little bit and you'll see that the extrusion is changed automatically. So there we have the headband. All right, with that done, we can now draw the earpiece or the, the yeah, the earpiece. So to do that, I'm just going to draw a curve and then edit that to get kind of a nice little arc. Let's see. Turn off my snapping so that it doesn't go totally crazy. And I want to make sure that the earpiece goes up just a little bit overlaps with the headband. Add some points here. 
And again, this is a profile curve, so when we do a revolved surface, this is what it'll look like. All right, so. Remember that whatever, you, whenever you're doing a revolved surface, whatever the distance is, is going to be multiplied by two. This is essentially the radius. So, done. And I want to make this the revolved surface. So I'm going to go to revolve, bring that down so it's horizontal. And there is our earpiece now. Be a little bit small, that's okay. I can just redo that quickly. Pull this point down just a little further. There we go. Revolve. There we go. And now, with that done, we are going to do one more profile curve. I'm going to put this into the wireframe mode for the moment. And we're going to do the inner part of the headphone. And edit this curve. This is kind of like the inner fabric of the headphone or something. Make kind of a ripple effect in it. Give, it. give some interesting design element to it. There we go. And do the same thing with the revolved surface. Uh, select that curve, revolve it, drop this axis down. And there we go. All right. So now you have the inner inner speaker and the outer cover. We're just going to give this a nice kind of bright color. There we go. And now remember that circle that we had. Well, we're going to do extrude along path with this circle. So let's line this circle up, kind of center it a little bit. And we're going to scale it up just a tad bit like that. All right. And all we're going to do is draw the shape of a C. And this is going to be the padding on the headphones. And now that we have that little shape, we'll edit it just a tad bit more. Just so it kind of comes in a little bit like that. All right. And I'm going to select this. Select the circle. Come over to extrude. Do a long path. And I barely have to move it to make a closed shape. Just move it just a tad bit. Turn the wireframe off. And there you have the padding for the ears. Tap done. Give this a black color. Oh, make sure you get the surface. There we go. And now we can simply select everything just like we did in the other tutorial. Or if you haven't seen that one, simply select the whole half of the headphone. Come over to the front view, tap mirror, select the Z axis. And just like that, you have a set of headphones. So we showed you how to use the extrude along path function both for the headband and also for the uh, padding on the headphones. And we used the revolved surface for the uh, earpiece and the inner speaker section. I hope this tutorial was helpful and useful for you. If you have any comments, questions, or feedback for us, feel free to let us know on our Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, or Twitter channels. We love to see what you guys create and uh, definitely reach out to us and say hi. All right, that's it for now. Take care, guys. Bye-bye.